Hello there. In the uh, previous video that I did, I was looking at how to make a night vision add-on easily and simply without using too many tools. And here are the components. Monitor with its mount. Camera in the Flow Plus adapter. Battery. Power splitter. Torch. And uh, a pouch to, to carry the battery on the stock. Um, put it all together, it plugs together very easily, very simply, and uh, the performance is good. The only problem that you get with all of this is that uh, there are quite a few leads, and uh, with all of the leads, you've also got um, plugs and sockets and connections. So you end up with something that's a little bit like a, uh, a bowl of electrical spaghetti um, which is uh, it's fine you, you can uh, you can take the things up a little bit and get them out of the way but they're still prone to, uh, to getting caught while you're out shooting and of course every every single connection is a, a possible um, point of failure uh, you can overcome that pretty well if you buy decent components but there is a, uh, another way of getting around this and uh, in, in this video uh, I'm just going to briefly go through the uh, A way of um, putting all this stuff together uh, into a, a much neater package. Now to build this uh, different uh, unit what we're going to do is to get rid of, uh, of some of the bits and pieces that, uh, that we actually used in, in the first uh, in, in the first build. So just take all this apart, and uh, we'll move on to what we're going to do to actually simplify it all. Now the way to uh, that I'm going to do this is I'm going to build everything pretty well into a plastic UPVC project box. And uh, for this build I'm going to use this one. It's a particularly lovely shade of blue, but uh, um, that doesn't really matter. Um, so there's a plastic project box. It, it, it needs to be sized so that it is big enough for the, uh, the monitor to, to to fit onto it. Now, the the battery packs that were that we that are used in, in the previous build were ready assembled, <coughs> but uh, for this build, I'm actually going to make one myself. Uh, I'm going to use as a basis this um, little cheap battery holder from from eBay which takes three uh, 18650 um, cells uh, I should be using these ones which are um, Sony cells which have been reclaimed from an old laptop battery they've been uh, tested I've charged them up and they work perfectly well now I always like to have uh, some form of protection on the uh, on the battery packs because they uh, if anything goes wrong then uh, uh, they can uh, discharge very quickly and, and then they might catch fire so there's two alternatives um, you can build them with a balanced charging lead what I'm going to use in this one is uh, a little um, protection circuit which uh, just get soldered into there, hook up all of the batteries to it, and it it protects the cell from overcharging, over discharging, and it balances the charge. If you want to, you can use uh, an ordinary balanced charging lead as used by radio control modelers on their battery packs, but that does require that you have a special charger, whereas with this one 
you can actually charge it off a, a simple 12 volt uh, power supply. So that will be the, uh, the battery pack. Um, also need uh, to think about what connections you're going to need on the on the unit. So uh, an on-off rocker switch, uh, a panel mount phono socket to use for video out if, if you want to record, and uh, a panel mount power socket. Um, this will be used to charge it uh, to avoid having to open up the box and uh, it can also be used to run it from a, an additional external battery pack if you want to. So that's quite a useful thing to have. Now the uh, to do away with the connecting wires uh, which uh, uh, on the other build were were running between the, the battery pack and the, and the camera and, and the monitor. Um, I'm going to use um, a plug and socket. Uh, plug and socket only goes in one way, uh, as there is actually a, a cutout in, in the plug, which mates with the uh, with the socket uh, and a retaining um, nut on there to hold it in place. Although with this one, it, it's actually quite a good. Um, fit so it's not like going to drop out um, it, it does have to be actually pulled out uh, now with the uh, with the connection between the project box and the camera it requires uh, three core cable of some sort you've got a common ground uh, you've got the power 12 volt power and you've got the video so uh, what I'm going to use here is actually some uh, fairly light duty, um, this is actually mains um, flex well, cable which um, uh, is got plenty of capacity to take the current that we need. Um, and uh, then there are one or two other bits and pieces. We're going to need some uh, wire of various colours. Uh, I've got plenty of this about in, in different different uh, uh, capacities, different thicknesses, different colours, that's fine. Uh, also, to connect all this together in the box, I'm using some uh, of this uh, printed circuit board. It's, for, I think it's designed for making up prototypes, and, and what we have are uh, rows of um, copper strips with holes in them and uh, for this job I just cut off a piece of uh, board at the right size for the number of connections I want to use uh, and then everything can be soldered to it. Last thing to think about is the uh, uh, is how you're going to mount this onto onto the uh, onto the scope. If you're using a, a weaver base uh, as normal but what um, have to watch out for in the in the monitors normally we get this little um, mount which is the one that we've used before um, it's featured in the video on, on mounting uh, monitors but the only problem is that uh, once you've taken this box you've put a battery pack in it put the monitor onto it and put in some wires and some other bits and pieces it, it starts getting heavy and these simple mounts like this are not necessarily going to be able to um, hold their position. The, the tension on the on the ball and the socket there is is simply done with this little tiny plastic uh, bracket, and uh, may well find that it won't hold the thing steady. So I shan't be using this. Instead, I'm going to use one of the um, the other one, which has a suction base on it. Um, I have here cut the the base off already, but these have um, the the ball and socket uh, is is clamped up with a fairly large nut, 
and it does mean that um, when you get it, the, the monitor set in the right position you can nip the nut up uh, and it will stay there whereas with the other one the, if you tried using that there's every chance that it would flop about all over the place so what I'll do now is uh, I'll go on to uh, some of the details of, of how to uh, how to actually make it and what to do um, and then I will uh, I'll build it all up and uh, we'll see the finished product okay the uh, the first stage is to fit the monitor and that goes onto the lid of the project box what I've done here I've just put some masking tape on it so that I can mark out to cut out for the uh, for the monitor just a question really of, of measuring it up see on the monitor itself there is a flat area which runs all the way around and we just need to measure the size of that um, for a cutout in the lid of the box now the uh, the lid of the uh, project box is uh, is marked out um, for a cutout to take the monitor um, what I do is just uh, check that for size yes it's okay yes that will fit in there so I'm now going to cut this out so I should use a, a Dremel with a, with a cut off wheel uh, and then just clean up the, uh, uh, the rough edges uh, with, with a file but for the battery pack um, this is a, a holder for three 18650 cells in series so it will give uh, approximately the 12 volts that we need um, these are cheap and cheerful um, and uh, I, I, the, the cable that they supply on them is not very heavy so I'm going to uh, rewire this um, and uh, it needs to be uh, done so that we've got um, a, a ground which is going to be 0 volts uh, positive at 12 volts and for the balance charging and protection circuits uh, there we also need to have a connection um, at, uh, at the where, where the uh, where the where the batteries are connected together. So between one and two and two and three, we actually need to have a another wire. So in total, we can have four wires coming from this, uh, and they will go to the protection circuit. Um, and uh, as as I uh, solder on the wires to the to the uh, different connecting points, I'll uh, I'll run them uh, so that it, it it's fairly neat and tidy, uh, and, uh, and then cut the wires off to the right length to fit onto the uh, protection circuitry. Now to connect all of this up, we're going to have to uh, cut the cables on. Um, both the camera and the monitor. Now, generally speaking, the uh, the uh, connections are uh, are straightforward. Um, just remove the uh, little plug from the back of the camera. It's colour coded: um, red, black, yellow, and uh, the red will be 12 volts, black is ground, yellow is video. Now this is going to be cut off quite short um, and uh, what I always do is uh, is check that those colour codings are correct. Uh, they almost certainly are but uh, to be on the safe side to avoid blowing up an expensive piece of equipment um, when I cut this I'll strip back the, uh, the cables on this side and just check with the, the meter that uh, the the black does go to the ground which is the outside of, uh, of the video plug that's uh, that's ground and also 
the outside connection here of the power is ground. Uh, the red should go to the center pin in the power connector and the yellow should go to the center pin in the video connector. Uh, and once I've made sure that that's right then I'm, I'm happy with the, uh, with the with the color scheme uh, and I I will uh, through, through the build and inside the project box I will use red for power, black for ground and yellow for video. Here the cables on, on these monitors. Uh, typically they will come with um, a power connector and a white uh, video and also uh, what is normally a yellow one. This one has been actually uh, replaced with a with a BNC um, plug uh, for another installation made it things a little bit easier but uh, once again these cables will be cut uh, and uh, that will reveal um, in here four wires there will be power ground and two video the white and the yellow. It doesn't really matter which we use but uh, normally prefer to use the yellow uh, as that is the standard um, sort of AV1 input. Once again once the wires are cut strip back the, uh, the insulation on the cutoff end and check that the colour coding is correct uh, before making any connections. 